Saturday, Crafty Friends. I'm coming on today with hashtag Satmore Makes. And I am working on this collection from Decorate Your Life Sandy. And what I'm doing is I want to watercolor some eggs for my upcoming project. So, just sent my friend Crystal some watercolors. And I told her that I would give her a, a few of the way I watercolor um, tips. So, <clears throat> this is a, um, it's the Tropical Collection of Prima. And I have added a few colors in the middle. And um, I love these little containers because they're so small and convenient. But anyway... The first thing you want to do is, you know, unwrap your, your paints. And then if you're planning on using a big range of colors, you can just use a spray bottle and spray the whole um, tray. But I'm only going to be using the blue and this brown. And I've got my colors swatched up here. And what you really want to do, and I don't have them blended as much as, as I know that they will blend, but a general idea. So, obviously, when you look at these colors, like that one, see, it actually looks like that. So, it's important that you have a swatch so you kind of know what you're working with. Okay. So, and then I use, these are round brushes. And I use water brushes. I use all kinds of things. But for today, I'm going to use these. All right. So, the first thing that I want to do is wet my brush. And then I'm going to come in and get some of this blue. And I'm going to put it down here. Because I'm what I'm going for is this egg. I'm going to make this one, this one, and then I'm going to make one of these. So, now, when your watercolors dry, they're going to be lighter than the color, obviously. But... I want to get mine light enough so that I have this really light value here, you know. And that might do it. And if it doesn't, the amazing thing about watercolor is that you can wet it and pull the color back off of it. So, okay. So, I am going to wet my whole egg. And this is watercolor paper that I got at Walmart. And I absolutely love it. And I will try to remember to list the name of it. Now, all watercolor paper is not created equal. I will say that. Because when I first started watercolor, I got very discouraged. And I even quit for a while. Because I was using inexpensive watercolor paper. Um, and it just peeled up. It couldn't handle my <laughs> the stress I was putting on it but good water paper will and I don't really think I put a whole lot of stress on it so you don't want something that's gonna ball up okay so now I'm gonna dip it in my color and I'm gonna start at the outside edge and see okay so I'm liking the color and your outside edge is always gonna be darker you know you're gonna have those and I see how it's going toward the center. It's doing that all by itself. And I'm going to leave I'm going to, okay, I'm going to color the whole thing. And then I'm going to, because I do want I why that's not sticking right there. Probably because my finger was on it. I do want it to be an all-over blue, but I don't want, I want to be able to leave my highs and lows. There we go. I said it. All right. So, this one I'm not going to wet, just so I can show you the difference. Okay. So, it's not going to fade into the middle, you know. Of course, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go all over the middle. And then as long as your paint is 
wet. Um, you know, you can easily remove it. Now, see, I'm going to want this to be darker because it's not exactly the blue that I want it to be. So I'm just going to add. And because I didn't wet this one first, it is absorbing it a lot faster than this other one. Okay. And you know, you just play. You're not, it's not, um, and then I'm going to go in around here because this is where I want it to be darker. And I hope I'm going to have enough time to do this whole thing. Because I went through my stuff and got out, went through my grandmother's button jar and, um, and pulled out some buttons because I want to use those too. Okay. Okay, so watch. So this is bluer in the center than I want it to be. So my brush is wet and I'm just lifting the color off, see? And so then you have, it gives you the illusion of roundness. Okay, so let's go back around this one. I'm not in frame yet. This one is a lot wetter than this other one. And that's okay. I'm going to put... I'm going to really get dark over here. I see. I love that. It, it's... It's so... Uh, what is the word? I'm looking, organic? How it, how it does its thing. You help it, but it does its thing. Which I think is magical. And this paper, you don't have to be afraid of the water. It does just fine. All right, let's see if I can get a really light round one going and you're going oh my okay so i'm going to show you yeah this is pretty brown it is pretty brown but watch what we can do rinse your brush out have it good and wet and pick that back up and it's becoming the color that I want it to be. See how that works? Magic, right? You know how I love a magical craft. <laughs> again. And you can take a paper towel, you know, to it as well that and then now this isn't exactly the color it's got a little more yellow in it but it's gonna be all right because I'm gonna um, I'm gonna work with it and I think that's pretty much perfect let me add a little bit more blue to this one make sure that my brush is Got the brown out of it. Where I'm touching it. Okay. Alright, so let me rinse that out. Oh, I was going to show you my, my button jar. Oops. Okay, I'm going to close that up. Now these will dry out. And they won't mold or anything like that. Um, they get enough air that they'll be fine. Clean my space up. That 
Okay, this is my, let's see, how long have I been on here? 10 minutes? Okay, this is my grandmother's button jar. And as you can see, I've added buttons. Look at that mother of pearl buckle. Um, these, this is, if these buttons could talk, you know? There's a patch in there, wooden bead. There's an Izod alligator. <laughs> Just never know what you might find in an old button in an old button box. Okay, I'm gonna dry these just a little bit for the sake of wanting to be able to finish them on here. That could be an accident waiting to happen. And usually, if you dry it on both sides, When it's dry, it'll get pretty much flat again. See that curls one way and that curls the other way? Okay, so here's my eggs. Now, I shouldn't have put that up because I needed circles of blue. What a nut. Okay, so here we go. And the brown one's got to have dots too. Were y'all saying, what are you doing, nut? What are you doing? Okay. Where'd my water go? Got ahead of myself, didn't I? All right, so I'm gonna practice because there's never anything wrong with that. Let's get my water back over here. Okay, so that is darker than I want it to be. So. Just gonna lift it off. Like that. And then. And I can even use that one like as my as a little paint palette to pull it back off of it but you know you kind of want different values all around on your eggs because it just makes it more interesting right and I'm just putting them here and there no particular rhyme or reason. Okay. I think that's going to look pretty good. Yep. Alright, let's rinse my brush. Now let's go into the wet it and then go into the blue. And I have a video where I, I make I watercolor balloons. So if you're just getting started, that's a, or circles, that's a great video to watch. And, um, and it's, it's good something to practice with because uh, you get the feeling of where the light should be, where the light's coming from. Okay, so. Also, while I was digging, so I found these buttons that I think will be great. I found this um, flower that I want to put on this one, this twine. So let's hook up my glue gun. Oh my. There we go. 
Now, so my thinking is I'm just going to wrap this around here several times, glue it down, put my that flower's kind of big, isn't it? Uh, all right, well, let me. Let me fix that because I don't want it to be that big but I'll I really like this flower I need to I need to make some flowers I haven't made any in a while because you know you can make them and they'll they, they'll be just exactly what you want and the size you want and the color you want but this works too so that's what we're doing right now just doing a little trimmage. I'm going to cut that leaf off. Never be disappointed if you think that you don't have something that works. Because chances are, you do. It might take a little extra something something. Oh yeah, that's much better. But you can do it. You can do it. Okay, and then this one I thought would be perfect around here. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then this one has this just wrapped around it. Might not have got a big enough piece to do both of these eggs. We'll see. Let's put a little glob of glue right there. Tuck that down. Oh, I think these are going to be so pretty. This is one of my favorite things to do, is make embellishments that go with something. Um... And this collection has got, I'm going to have to glue that on the back too. This collection has got a set of cut-aparts, which are fantastic. And I'm going to use those too. But I'm thinking I might make a journal this time. And if I make a journal, I'll, uh, you know, I want the cover to be large and in charge. Bend that around like I want it to be. And I'm going to put a tiny tinch of glue right there and glue that down. I'm going to put a tiny dot behind it. And mash that down. And there's egg number one. Egg number one, come on down. <laughs> Alright. So, let's try this one. No, this one. Because I know I'm probably going to use the rest of my twine here. Okay, let's start in the back. <clears throat> so I can get the most out of this piece. Is 
There we go. There we go. Three wraps, that's what I wanted. Okay. That came loose. All right. just tear some of these off and glue them peeking out of my flower look at that okay now I'll put a pretty good size glob on there that. Hold it for just a second. Now, I'll pinch that right there. Okay, flower, don't get away from me. Now I need some little pink, looks like baby's breath or something right there, <clears throat> but I didn't have any of that in my stash, so I thought we would, oh my, there went my leaves, okay, all right, and this trim, y'all, I was like, what, I have a trim like that, yes I do. May not be exactly, but you know, you know it's good and it's good. Oh, oh, hot glue! It can make you lose your mind. What little you have of it. Okay, now let's glue that down. Look at that. And which button to use? Which button to use? Uh, that one says something. I don't want to use it. That one's too. Too, too. I kind of like that one. Wonder if I can. Oh, I used it all. Rats. I sure did. Okay. Well, I will put this here, but I have to put some thread. I have to put some thread through there so it looks like it's tied on. But look, isn't that sweet? Look. And there I've got me some matching in bellies. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this collection. It's so much fun. And it probably would have been better if that wasn't jute, but it has some texture. And, you know, I like texture. And I said, I'm staying with the pastels. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. Okay? That was my promise with this collection. So, um, this Saturday Morning Makes is hosted by Jill Norwood, and her channel will be listed in the description box below. Um... In, on Saturday, you know, you create something and share it. And if you follow the hashtag, Satmore Makes, you can see amazing people doing all kinds of amazing things. And um, like I said, this time I am making embellishments because I'm going to be working with this collection from Sandy, Decorate Your Life. I'll list her information below too in case you're interested in this collection. And um, she has a website and a YouTube channel. And she makes journals and cards and all kinds of amazing things. So, y'all have fun. I hope you get to craft today. 
and use what you've got. Get out your your goodies and play. It it really delights my heart when I am making something and I get to go digging in my stuff. And you know, for one thing, you get to look at all your stuff. And let's face it, we do like our stuff, right? And then when you find something that works, oh, it makes my heart happy. So anywho, um, love you guys, and we will talk to you soon. Blessings.